The router milling machine from Shop Notes Magazine is a versatile shop built jig. It allows you to create table legs and other work pieces with decorative details. These details can be added around any part of the leg along with delicate tapering. You can even add straight or spiral flutes and beads using a variety of router bits. The milling machine starts out as a solid base assembly with a headstock and a tailstock to support the workpiece. Gears at one end of the base rotate the workpiece while simultaneously moving the router along the workpiece. The first detail added to this fluted, tapered leg is a transition area at the top of the leg, and that starts with a squared up blank. Because the transition detail goes around the leg, you only need to use the indexing wheel and the drive gear. A pair of holes on the end of the blank matches up with drive pins in the headstock. And a single pin in the tailstock supports the bottom of the blank once it's locked in place. With the blank securely installed, I've added a core box bit in the router to create the transition. For this example, I'm positioning the router to locate the center of the transition six inches from the top of the leg. With the router in position, creating the transition detail is easy. It's just a matter of lowering the bit and turning the workpiece. To get the best results, I'll make shallow cuts. A single turn of the crank is just about right. You'll continue this process, making progressively deeper cuts until you reach the final depth of the cove. After completing the cove cut, I'm going to create more detail by installing a vertical panel raising bit. I'll use it to cut a shoulder on each side of the cove. The process of creating these shoulders is the same. Make progressively deeper cuts as you route the shoulder on one side of the cove to final depth. After repositioning the router, you simply repeat the process to complete the shoulder on the other side of the cove. That takes care of completing the shoulders. The next step is to round the leg and create a taper at the same time. To do this, I'll install a bowl cutting bit in the router. And then I'll raise the bottom of the leg by adjusting the tailstock. This creates the desired taper. To move the router along the leg and rotate it at the same time, I'll install a gear to connect the indexing wheel and the drive gear. It's bolted in place, but still needs to turn smoothly. You'll be removing a lot of material to complete the taper. So, it's best to start by making shallow cuts near the bottom of the leg, moving from top to bottom. After each pass, reposition the router closer to the top of the leg, lower the bit, and repeat the process just like you did before. You'll continue removing material until the leg is completely round, from the shoulder at the top of the leg, all the way to the bottom. Once the taper is complete, the next step is to create the decorative spiral flutes that wrap around the leg. For this, I'm going to use a portion of this large classical cove bit. After installing it in the router, I'm going to need to change the gear setup. I'll remove the gear I used for the tapering first. Then, I'll install two new gears to create the spiral spacing I'm looking for. Just like before, I'll bolt them in place so they turn freely. For this leg, I've chosen to route nine spirals. So I'll index the leg by using the inside set of holes, starting with number one. With the bit starting in the transition area, I'll route the first spiral using just a portion of the bit to create a shallow cove that spirals around the leg. This spiral goes from the top of the leg all the way to the bottom. For the next spiral, the indexing gear is repinned using the number two hole and the process is repeated, starting at the top of the leg. This cuts a second identical cove right next to the first one. The setup of the gears accurately positions each of these spirals around the leg. The process for creating all the other spirals remains the same. To get the best results, I cut each spiral to just under full depth and then made a cleanup pass in reverse 
before moving on to the next spiral. Once the last spiral is complete, you can loosen the tailstock and remove the completed leg.